hello and welcome to I was going to say Gibraltar but welcome to almost Gibraltar we are currently still in Spain in a car park the Gibraltar border crossing is just there we are going to go and spend the day in Gibraltar we are staying just about 20 minutes up the road and we're coming here for a day trip I've decided that I was having a bit of a Google last night and I decided that the best option is to park in Spain and walk across the border a couple of reasons one you might be able to see the queue behind me to cross in a car it's quite large so we're going to walk across instead and also when you enter Gibraltar you have to cross the airport runway there's an avenue avenue Winston Churchill you have to cross the runway when a plane comes they like put like down like little barriers you know when the, a train comes on the road they do the same for the airport and I quite fancy just walking across that on foot so come and spend the day in Gibraltar with me you are entering the live airfield proceed without stopping and keep within the democrated no democrated <laughs> So this is it, we're walking across the runway. I don't know why, but I'm finding this a really, really cool experience. I don't know where else <laughs> in the world you can walk across a runway. Let me know if there is anywhere else in the world, but this is pretty cool. I want to see if Gibraltar has its own money or if it's just the same as the pounds that we have in England. So I'm going to draw out some cash. You just asked me to put that time, you just asked me to put in a number. So I put in 10. Oh, I got ten pounds. Oh, it's just ten pounds. It's not a Gibraltar, ten pounds. We're going to be spending most of our time on Gibraltar Rock because there is a lot to do up there. Uh, you can walk up if you're mad, <laughs> but uh, we're not. You can take the cable car. That's what we're going to do. Thank you. Um, Welcome to the cable car. Our ride 412 meters up to the top of the rock will take approximately six minutes. During your top of the rock visit, you will encounter the famous Barbary macaques. These are wild, free roaming, tailless monkeys. They have sharp teeth and will bite if provoked. Please do not feed or attempt to touch them. Feel free to take photos, but please keep your distance. You should not take out or display any food or plastic bags, as the monkeys will grab them. You should place rucksacks at your front to protect your belongings. We're up on the top of the rock. Got the uh, cable car up, as you saw, and had a bit of breakfast. That was the most delicious breakfast. I had a vegan um, a vegan breakfast while I had an omelette. And we are heading, when you get your ticket, you can just get your cable car, or you can get your cable car plus entrance to the nature reserve, which kind of everything up here is part of the nature reserve. So you need to get that ticket really if you want to do anything whilst you're up here. So we're gonna like just walk around the whole rock, do all the different things. We're currently heading to the Skywalk, Glasswalk, Skywalk, it's called. Um, oh, there's a monkey in front of me. There's lots. We've had a traumatic experience with a monkey. I'm going to go behind these people. <laughs> there are a lot of monkeys up here. One has just jumped on Lara's back back there and tried to open her bag. Cause she was a bit silly. Well, no, she succeeded. Yeah, was emptying things out and stuff. Um, so we were a bit nervous of him. A bit bitter. You'll jump off if you walk. Did he bite ya? Yeah. <laughs> Little mother <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't like it. Right, Skywalk's over here. We're very nervous of the monkeys though now. They're huge heavy. and heavy Shop. and aggressive. <laughs> We've 
lost all the people. We're trying to stay with a group of people so they don't just single us out and attack us again. <laughs> it was horrible because he was on Laura's back. Like I say, she stupidly put her bag on her back. She just forgot after we'd had breakfast. And he was opening the bag and I was like, have you got, like, do you want to just leave him to get whatever out? But her phone was in there and everything. So I was trying to stop him, but he was like, nailing at me. And I was like, oh God. And it was horrible. So then we gave you the bag and he wouldn't. So I managed to get the bag off Lara, off Lara's back. <laughs> He just sat on like, oh, it's horrible. <laughs> so we're very nervous now. <laughs> They're not usually that sort of competent, aggressive, like, and, yeah. <coughs> okay. We've lost our group safety and numbers, our pack um, of people. There's a monkey up ahead. No, there's some on the other side. <laughs> oh, they've got a baby. Are you brave? That's. Yeah, come with me. Yeah. So now. Honestly, that monkey's kind of ruined our time. We're, quite, we're just really nervous about everything. We didn't go to St. Michael's Caves that we wanted to do the other way because there were just monkeys everywhere. Um, so what we're gonna do now is potentially try and head over to, um, it's just a bite, to uh, Windows Suspension Bridge. We've kind of thought that the monkeys are the other end and they're up high, so we're only getting safer. Thought. We're hoping. After about an hour's walk, we just cannot find Windsor's suspension bridge. But we have come the very long way around to St Michael's Cave, so we're going to go in here. The awakening entrance. Like I say, this is all included in your nature reserve ticket. <laughs> it's just nice and cool down yeah. here for a little while. nice it's at Michael's cave we're now walking back I think I've lost my sunglasses we're not having a good time <laughs> at all I think I put my sunglasses down okay. in the cave I can't find them right now and I can't be bothered to go back because it's up a hill anyway <laughs> we're heading down to see if we can find the Windsor suspension bridge now because it was supposed to be we, we couldn't find it before so we're going to see if we can find it now for some more fun because I don't really like heights so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> You'd rather not be doing what you're doing, but you're all right, yeah. I guess. We're in a pickle. It said the suspension bridge was this way, so we're trying to go down, but we don't, we're not sure. Are you all right? You ready to, can you walk? You ready to yeah. go? Do you know where we're sticking up? Oh, yeah. Recording holiday problems. Oh, yeah. You could have got I mean, Gibraltar, we're not having a good time with you, <laughs> to be honest. 
but that was a lot of effort <laughs> clambering down those steps we are now 100 the sign 110 meters away from windsor bridge oh we've got to go back uphill it's not quite as bad steps so these are better steps oh. <laughs> why didn't they just make it this level they could have just made this bit level We're going down and then back up here it is Oh, I don't think I'll be too scared, actually. It'll be all right. I don't think I will be too scared. Oh, there's a walkway, so you can miss it if you want and cling to the edge of the... to come up and feel this cannon. Go to the left round and then there's some steps. Okay. Up path to town. Oh there's a rail. It's stairs so it's not wonderful but there is a rail. We're now heading down Gibraltar Rock. I'm a little bit disappointed because there was still a few more things that I wanted to do. There's the great well, siege tunnels and Moorish Castle that's all included in the price. But it was, it feels like it was just, it's like it's a bit too hot now. It's getting middle, middle of the day. It was a bit of a walk away. We're still scared of monkeys. It's a whole thing. So <laughs> we are, um, we're heading down. We've come to the Botanic Gardens, which is right next to the lower cable car station. We we'll sit down in the shade, have a bit of water, use the toilets, uh, take a little look at Lara's monkey bite and give it a wash and stuff. We had a comfy blister plaster that we just put on temporarily whilst we're up on the rock and we just want to wash it and stuff now we've got access to some water. What should you do? Take your plaster off. Is it sore? Um, like just blue stuff. Have a look. Like, I think yeah. I think we should try and ask someone. Yeah. This is editing Sarah, and I just wanted to interject here to say please please be careful if you are going to Gibraltar with these monkeys as I am speaking now and editing this video it is about 10 days after we got back and Lara is currently in a hospital in England on lots of antibiotics on an IV or two different IVs and her legs have swollen up and yeah it's not very nice at all you will see as the video progresses what we ended up doing whilst we were in Gibraltar but I just wanted to say, you know, please, please do be careful. These monkeys are wild animals. They may attack you. They did attack Lara. And to be honest, looking back, I think we were very lucky to get away with, I say as little, but, you know, obviously Lara is in hospital right now, but as little as we did. The Gibraltar authorities do do a lot to try to control the population. But like I say, they are wild animals. And I just want to warn you to please be careful if you are going up Gibraltar Rock. Try to not carry a bag if you can. If you are taking a bag, if it's necessary for you to have a bag, wear it on your front. Don't take any food up there and just be really aware. I've read some horrific stories of things that have happened on Gibraltar Rock since this happened to Lara and some of the tales are pretty horrendous. So yeah, take care up there if you go. We're currently at Alameda House and we're gonna take a bus over to Europa Point, which is right at the tip of Gibraltar. This is Europa Point. It has a lovely calm feel to it compared to the rest of Gibraltar that we've been to today. There's no traffic and it's just peaceful, quiet. It's the southernmost point of Gibraltar. Look at this beautiful mosque here, like wow, absolutely 
amazing. There's a huge kids play area over there. Whoa, look at this huge cannon at Harding's Battery. This is massive. And here is the lighthouse. This was built in 1841. Oh, it's lovely here. It's a bit windy, but it's lovely. Great views over to Africa. They are the Rift Mountains in northern Morocco. Oh, I love it here. This is my favourite spot in all of Gibraltar that we've been to. Maybe the monkeys have affected that decision, but I really, really like it here. Yeah. They were yeah. So we were just gonna go we were just going into Morrison's then just to get a little bit of shopping before we head back and we figured we should just ask at the pharmacist um advice on the bite and they have directed us to say we have to come to the hospital, which Morrison's is there, hospital is here, so we're gonna go and check it out. Better to be safe than sorry. So that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully it's cool. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to wait too long. It's three hours and 35 minutes. Current number of patients waiting to be seen, eight. Oh dear, what a disaster. So I've just left Lara at um, in A&E. &A. She's like checked herself in with the triage nurse. And I have just nipped to Morrison's. I don't really like being in Morrison's. I wanted to shop at a Spanish supermarket, but hey, we're, I went to Morrison's, got some bits for tea. I'm gonna go and head back, meet Lara, sit with her for many hours, probably. I'm just back in the hospital, heading back to Lara, and she just texts me to say that she's gone in, which is good. She's only been like half an hour or so. Where am I going? Straight on. The wait said like three hours or something, so nice. If it's a bite, yeah. it's more risky to get infection. Yeah. 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 So I prescribed the antibiotics. Uh, she told me you're going to Spain tonight. Yes. 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 So get the antibiotic from a pharmacy here because in Spain you won't get with that that person. Right. Yeah. They yeah. bite quite quite strong. You 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 <laughs> felt that. Yeah, yeah, you really know it was strong. <laughs> you felt it. Yeah, yeah. I think it was hanging <laughs> off my arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swinging. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. So, but if it becomes red, comes a bit of pus or anything, just antibiotic. Yeah. Okay. okay. Don't, don't worry. Yeah. If you see it start to get the swelling's gonna come, the hematoma is gonna be there, mm -hmm. but the redness and a bit of pus coming. Yeah. Yeah. Start the antibiotic. Cough, but get it now before going yeah. to before spray, you go to because spray. You, you won't you won't get you it. Won't in get it. Oh, yeah. that's is it best to leave it covered up? Or? Cover for now. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're gonna have a shower tonight, just take it off. Don't, okay. don't leave it red. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely. Thank you. Um, you're, you're coming with tetanus, no? Tetanus, Lars. Yes. Tetanus. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. We're all done. Um, super quick, like I was saying. Maybe what? Been been like an hour, yeah. maybe since since we went, went to in. Marcus. Went to Mercedes. <laughs> went to Mercedes. We were first like over in the pharmacist. Um, lovely doctor man. Um, he's just cleaned it and. Um, plastered it up and given us some plasters and given us a prescription for uh, antibiotics but told us, well told Lara, not to take them particularly just if it gets worse like redness and things he said it's going to swell up quite a lot. What else did he say? Okay. Like, um, he, hematoma, if your fingers tingle go to hospital. Oh god, <laughs> it'll all, it, it'll like, um, there might be pus coming out of it and stuff. Pretty gross and he said that the, excuse my language, but he said the monkeys are bastards. Yes, we agree. <laughs> we did ask about, like he was saying, get this prescription filled, even though we're not maybe taking them, or Lara's not maybe taking them. He did say, get this filled out in Gibraltar, because we are going back to Spain, well now really, but um, you won't necessarily, well you can't get this filled out in Spain, you've got to get it filled out in. Gibraltar, so you, might, you may or may not be able to buy it from a pharmacy in Spain. Yeah, yeah. Lara said, "Can she just go and buy this flux and flux and whatever it's called, this antibiotics in Spain?" I said, "Maybe, maybe not." So, gonna go to Martin's, get this, and then leave this godforsaken place. <laughs> and the monkeys are horrible. And he said, "This really is not bad. He obviously has. We were looking; they get about two a week. They're horrible." 
horrible muffins. Hiya, can I pass that in to you? Yeah, is that 15 minutes? Yeah, that's fine. Thank so you very much. Just go away and come back? Um, no, we'll just sit here. Just we'll wait here, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nice and quick. Yeah. Right. Antibiotics all collected. We, um, Morrison's didn't have it, but a lovely man, they phoned through to another pharmacist just opposite, well, sort of opposite and a little bit of a walk, not very, very far, five minutes or so. Um, but the, one of the men who worked there said, uh, like it closes at six, it's like two minutes past six, so we've just like, just managed to get in there in time. He walked over with us, show us where it was. Had a bit of a chat with him about Gibraltar life. It was quite interesting really, like he moved over recently from the UK and we were just chatting about how that works and things. So that was quite interesting. We're gonna head back to the border now. Hopefully there's no queue. He said sometimes there's a really big queue to get through the border, which- Two hours he said. Two hours, he did say two hours sometimes. <laughs> I think maybe he was being dramatic, but we're done. <laughs> Prescription was only £5? Prescription was only £5. That was interesting to note. And he said that, what did he say? You only pay... £15 is if you have the maximum charge and you've got 10 items. Yes, but 10 items, you just pay the maximum charge that they would charge you would be like £15. They didn't charge you 10 times 5. And he said so, lots of people complain because it used to be £2.50. 50. Yeah. You think we're heading to the border? This is uh, Winston Churchill Avenue, Avenue? Yeah. Avenue. We're back on again, and I think maybe there's a plane coming because the barriers are coming down. So that's quite exciting. <laughs> I'm trying to take the small winds from today. I feel like it's been a disaster. There's a red light for cars, but a green light for people. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we missed the plane. Yeah. That's the sort of day you've had. That is the sort of day we've had. Yeah. And we are back into Spain. Car over there, head home. 